Hi, in this video we'll be looking at program testing and debugging as well as program documentation. In our previous videos we have seen several stages of problem solving where we have seen the first five stages but in this video our focus will be on program testing and debugging which is the sixth stage as well as program documentation which is the last stage of problem solving. All right, program testing. You know, the truth is, take for example, when we are cooking, when we are done with our food, most times it's important for us to test the food we have eat to ascertain if the food or the taste of the food or the ingredients are in the right proportion or if the food met the taste we tend it to be. So likewise also, the purpose of testing your program after coding is to determine whether the program consistently produce the correct result without errors. So we must test our code to know if actually met the requirement of the user. Now, in trying to test or in trying or this can be done, this can actually be done by using user data. So we can use data by supplying data into our program and see the results produced. Now, when we supply data to test our programs and we encounter an error, this simply means we have to do what we call program debugging. You know, first and foremost, it's important for us to note that errors in our programs are called bugs. So the process of removing bugs is called debugging. So if that is the case, so debugging simply means it's a process of detecting, locating, and correcting bugs. And we said bugs are errors or mistakes which are found in our program. So debugging in a simple term is locating and correcting bugs. And these bugs and these errors are called bugs and the process of removing those errors are called debugging. Now these bugs are classified into major categories too, which is compile time error and also runtime error. The syntax and semantic error falls under compile time error, while the logical error falls under runtime error. Now, as we proceed <coughs> in this video series, we'll be seeing these errors in much details and how they can be removed. Now, the final stage of this problem solving is program documentation. Program documentation actually is refers to the, the written materials of the steps we took to solve our problem of all the phases. You know, it's a very important access because it enables new problem solvers or new programmers to learn about the existing problem much easily and quickly you know for example now you have a template of what has been done in the time past it helps you uh, it helps you to know what has been done and how it was carried out so that in case you want to improve on the existing can learn where to start from but when there is no documentation of previous processes you know it becomes difficult for new programmers or new problem solvers to know where to begin their journey from. So program documentation mainly is, is a material that detects the step by step that has been used to solve problems. And this is important that we develop this at every stage from the stage one to the final stage of problem solving. Now I leave you with this note. Good problem solvers required a number of other skills which includes creativity and decision making. Now, by boosting your creativity and decision skill, you will become better at solving all problems you face. Now, as we join in this video, we'll be looking at more of, more details about algorithm, flowchart, pseudocode, programming in basic, debugging, output formatting. I know you have been, this video has been helpful to you. If you want to learn more, please do well to subscribe to our channel. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for listening.